Good evening, you guys. This is V Class Beats here with another tutorial video. And basically, I'm going to show you guys how I mix in mono. One good way of mixing in mono is basically going to your master track here and setting this knob here into mono. One side is, is stereo, the other side is mono. So this side is the mono side and the other side is the stereo side. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put it inside inside of the stereo side and I'm going to start leveling my tracks. This is pink and you can go to credlandaudio.net slash pink and you'll be able to download it for either iOS or Windows. And it gives you a specific set of instructions so that way you'll be able to know how to use the pink noise for yourself. I'm going to show you exactly how I use it and I mix in mono just to show you how to kind of level and get your track sounding good. What we're going to start off with doing first is we're going to level our track using pink noise. So let's do that first. Let's turn pink noise on. So basically what I'm going to do is go to my each of my sounds, solo each of my sounds, and one by one, I'm going to go down the line and level my track. Listen to the hi-hat. And let's turn on the pink noise. All right, so that's everything that I basically mix in pink noise and actually having my track in mono. So the next step for me is going to be figuring out what I want to pan and what I want to automate. Now, one thing that I've learned from people that I look up to that is basically when you're going into each of your tracks here, you want to pan certain instruments. So you may want to pan your hi-hats, you want to pan your open hi-hats, 
you always want to keep your kick in mono you always want to try to keep your bass in mono that's just me i do that sometimes just depending on the bass or depending on the sound i may keep it in mono or i might leave it just straight stereo make sure that you pan your sound so that way you give your mix space so we're going to listen to it now after pink noise not too bad so what i'm going to go in here and do is i'm not necessarily hearing anything bad as far as notes everything sounds clean to me but what I want to do is I want to shorten some of these notes here for this pad because I started to hear it and it was just too long for me. I'm going to shorten these notes a little bit. So going back into the mix. the knees a little bit more now what we want to do we want to decide on what instruments we're going to pan so we're going to listen to the mix again Alright, so that's me doing my little bit of panning. Now let me take everything out and let's play the mix in its entirety. So cool. That sounds like a good balanced mix as far as levels. Now, the next approach that I would take in to my mixes is to listen to what instruments I feel that I need to either tweak with the EQ or add compression to or anything of that sort. Now that I got my level straight, first you do your leveling and then you go in and you add your plugins so that way you'll have an idea of, okay, my mix sounds good. All right, I got everything level. Now, what do I need to turn up? What do I want to have? What do I want to add character to? That's what you got to think about when you think about your mixes. Think about what do you want to stand out and what do you want to take away? And, you know, what signals do you want to get rid of? Which signals do you want to keep? Which ones do you want to boost? Which ones you don't? It's basic. It's a basic rule of thumb. You're just going to go through and you're just going to use your ear just to follow exactly where you want to be. So I go in here and I show you just some basic EQ steps that I take. For instance, this is the baseline. I cut out the high end because I don't want the high end frequencies to be fondling with any other sounds that I have that's supposed to be in the high end. So I scooped out as much as I wanted to utilize your tools because see this sharpens it up. Sometimes you can sharpen it up just to make it sound a little bit better or sound a little bit sharper within that frequency. Sometimes you don't necessarily have to cut out low end frequencies out of certain sounds. Sometimes the 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 main harmonic or the main tone may be in the low end for certain instruments. For instance, with this organ, I started to mess around with the EQ here in this frequency and it seems like it, about 211 hertz is where I hear a good note or I hear a good signal from this sound. So sometimes you have to take those approaches to mixes. You sometimes have to take control of mixes and actually go to the signal that you want to hear and either boost or take away. Here with the pad, I just basically scooped out some of the low end 
and scooped out some of the high because I see this is where this sound is mostly shining at. And then I went to the chords and I basically saw that this point here about what is this 700 or so hertz is about the signal that I like to hear for this sound. So I just raised it there. Then going to the bell sound here. I basically cut out the low end and then I rose the high end a little bit so that way that signal can shine at almost exactly 6 dB. So sometimes you have to raise certain signals just to kind of get it to where you want it to be so it can shine in the mix. So let's listen again. And as you can see, as I was on my master fader, you see that I don't have any signal that's peaking over 3 dB. Most of all of my frequencies are peaking here in this area, which is good, which lets me know that I have a well-balanced mix. Now, all I have to do is go back and make the decisions that I need to make. This was a basic tutorial of how I mix down my tracks or bring out frequencies within my tracks. I'll be giving you guys so much more content. If you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comment below. Also, if you like this content that I'm displaying on this page, please like and subscribe so that way I can bring you more content like this and give you more value as the time goes on. This is V-Class Beats with another tutorial and I am out.